get um, 145, 2, 81, 62. Okay. And so we know that 5 plus 1, 6, plus 2 is 8. Okay. Um, and clearly, uh, we have, we're in the right direction towards that one. That's the only one that ends with the 8. But let us continue. 4 plus 8 plus 6. 4 plus 8 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. We carry the 1. And we have 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4. 4, 8, 8. Now, although we got the answer right after we do the 1's column, and we get the 8 here, and no other uh, answer has the, the number 8, we like to follow up and, and ensure that we do the problem. Uh, it just makes us feel more comfortable. Remember, the key thing here is that you want to ensure that you rewrite these numbers. Um, uh, you rewrite them in a way that uh, you're used to, and it's easy to add up. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. Again, this is a problem where we're going to do the same thing. We're going to rewrite uh, the numbers. So we're going to take 3, 60, 5, and in this case, we are subtracting 56. Okay. So 365 minus 56. Um, it's a number of ways to do this, uh, but the, the way we're all familiar with is we're going to reduce this to 5. We're going to borrow 1. We're going to say 15 minus 6 is 9. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 3, 3, 0, 9. We get the answer B here. Now, one of the things that we can quickly do, just to make sure we got the answer correctly, is go 3, 0, 9, plus 56. That should give us the answer 365. And what we've done here is we've checked our work. And that works because that's the original number we started with. And so we know that our answer is 309. Very good. Let's move on to the next problems.